Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, National Pet Day. I'm Grace Pearson, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ is sponsored by Brubaker Builders, custom home builders in Brevard County that specialize in hurricane-resistant construction. If you are a current dual enrollment student and are planning to take classes over the summer, you may see college specialist Angela Feldbush for dual enrollment registration form. See Ms. Feldbush in the Media Center if you have any questions. Our second Minecraft Championship will be taking place at the Florida Tech Esports Center on Friday, April 21st at 3 p.m. The event is free for both players and spectators. However, sign up to play is first come, first serve. Sign-ups will begin Monday at the tables in the Commons area. Transportation for the event will not be provided. The event will also be streamed on Florida Tech Esports' Twitch channel. Be sure to tune in and watch it live. Now to Keon with a story about a student who got an unusual scholarship. West Shore students are well used to hearing about their peers receiving scholarships, but usually they're for academics. What about one for a voice? I got a senior scholarship for $500. From his own estimation of 20 superior awards at the district level to top honors at states, Grant Newcomb has become widely recognized for his singing. I did know that I would just be singing pretty much my whole life. I've really only seen professional singers before working here, so it was shocking to hear his range of pitch. Every time I hear him, I always think, wow, that was really good. But then when we play it back, he gets better every time. Grant's passion for singing has been present since a young age. I started singing because it was introduced to me throughout my entire life. Uh, when I was a kid, like in elementary school, my mom would always be playing music. We would always sing together and it was just kind of always a thing. We'd wake up with music and it was happiness. And if there was no music, there was less happiness. So it was always the music was part of things. Having taken his final bow for high school, who knows where the spotlight will find him next. For WCTZ News, I've been Kiana Medini reporting. Today's episode of WCTZ is also sponsored by Flying Burrito, now open across from Melbourne High School. Tickets to attend Senior Breakfast on Friday, April 28th, will be on sale in the Commons from tomorrow till Friday. Tickets are $3. See Senior Class Officer Melanie Richardson if you have any questions. If you are interested in running for an SGA officer position for next school year, candidate packets are available starting Monday in Lynn Bramlett's room, 2205. Completed packets must be turned into Ms. Bramlett by 3.30 on April 19th. Elections will be held in homeroom on April 28th. Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Brubaker Builders and Flying Burrito. This has been Grace Pearson. Have a fantastic day, Wildcats.